All right, what's going on, guys? This is Jared. Thanks for stopping by to check out this awesome video. So in here, I'm going to be going over um, eight ways. Just let me fix that. Eight ways to attract more clients. So this could be really for any business, or actually, if you want to attract high-paying clients, here's some great ways to do it. So one started just typing this out is a webinar or what's called a VSL, a video sales letter. So what's great about these? Uh, webinars and video sales letters um, they do a lot of the selling for you so by the time uh, you're done on the end of the presentation whether you're selling your product or your service right there on the actual webinar or at the end of the video um, or if your objective is to move them to schedule a call uh, you're providing a lot of value up front and that does a lot of selling for you so by the time you get on the call it's more of a warm close things like that now <clears throat> Uh, what's big in the industry right now is also called the Evergreens, uh, which is basically an evergreen webinar where it's basically a recorded version of a webinar that you did, but it looks like it's live, so it can run at really any time, a couple times during the day, and you can spread it out so the potential client sees the ad, goes to your page, and they could have like one that starts in 15 minutes, one that starts like in half an hour, or you can really set it up however you want, but it looks like it's live. And the, really the only thing you have to do, then do is because it runs by itself is just focus on getting people to the webinar um, and that does the selling for you. Uh, video sales letters work great as well um, where basically you have a, an opt-in page, a video on it, and, and uh, a call to action at the end of it. Um, I use these a lot so no one way is right or wrong and if you want to scale quickly uh, you can definitely have more than one funnel. So this is a type of a fu uh, funnel, a webinar, a video sales letter is a type of funnel. Um, and if you can perfect one, you can make a, a lot of money. If you can perfect uh, two or three, uh, being people learn in different ways. Some people like videos. Some people uh, understand more of a text on a page a little better. Some people may enjoy watching a, a, a video better. So it really figures out what's working for your audience uh, and kind of going with that. Uh, and the biggest way to actually make these successful is uh, just providing a lot of value up front, um, even more than your competitors. So if you can find out what your competitors are doing, provide a lot of value, give a lot of way, build that relationship and that trust up, and you have a much better chance of going ahead and closing uh, the person. Uh, joint ventures work, uh, work really good with this option as well. So let's say you have someone that has a really good list or they're in the industry or the, uh, the niche that you want to go after, you can build up a joint venture with them and say, hey, could you promote this to your list or your, to your, uh, your Facebook group or your page? Um, we'll do like a uh, a certain split on commissions for uh, all the signups you can get me and any sales come out of it uh, they get a commission so you kind of leverage other people's audience that's already been built for you um, you just have a really good way of capturing and selling to them so those are those are a couple of really good ideas right there uh, another good one um, that's good in the industry uh, podcasting so um, pretty straightforward um, it goes back to the funnel as well. So really everything we're going to talk about goes back to your funnel that you're going to be setting up. But podcasts are a good way to get your audience. Um, again, people learn differently. So here's a, a good audio way. So um, if you're really knowledgeable about your topic or you can do interviews, bring people on, bring guest speakers on, podcasts are an awesome way to uh, let people listen to you live or recorded. And again, you direct them back to your landing page. So it's just another uh, funnel option or I'm sorry, just another sales uh, medium for you to get people back to your funnel. So again, if you're familiar, it's really easy to get set up. There's a lot of great softwares and systems out there that make uh, getting your podcast live uh, really easy these days. So if that's something you're interested in. You could definitely go down that route um, and give away a lot of value on it, talk about a lot of interesting facts, and really have some success out of using that model. So another one here, we want to go over... Uh, basically articles, um, guest, guest posts or blogs. So what's great about articles and guest blogs, you can become um, the expert uh, on a topic or basically uh, really any niche. So what in ways you can find this is that you can, let's say, go to Google. Um, and you just type in, I, I don't know, just, just pick anything. Like if it was like weight loss or nutritional, uh, blogs, it's basically whatever comes up in Google, let's say the first five, six, ten pages, just see what 
um, the most popular blogs, the most pop popular articles, the most popular writers, websites that come up, uh, email, reach out to every single one of them. Um, so let's say on each page of Google, there's usually about 10, uh, 10 first page results. So let's say you did five pages or 10 pages, you have 50 to 100 right there. Um, so even at a small percentage, let's say you just got a handful of people that are willing to let you be an expert, position yourself, write a really great article. When I, may, when I mean write an article, I mean like really write an awesome article, like five, ten page article. However informative you can get, uh, the better. So you reach out to them and say, hey, listen, I have uh, a lot of great information. I'm oh, sorry about that. I have a lot of great information I think your audience would love. Um, here's kind of my idea for the post. Uh, I would love to be uh, a guest expert on your website or your blog. And in that article, obviously, um, your contact information, your website will be posted. Um, so now if that blog or that website has uh, several thousand, tens of thousands, 50, 100,000 people uh, coming to it on a monthly basis, um, they're now seeing your article and they're all linked back to your, again, to your landing page or your funnel to where you can sell your service or sell your product uh, and your expertise. So this is a great way to get a lot of free traffic. It just takes a little upfront work to reach out, email the website or blog owners, which they all have their contact info. Uh, one way you can also look up who owns that blog um, you just do uh, like a who is search like who is dot net uh, sorry who is dot net and you can basically put their domain name into um, if you just go ahead and google that you can put your domain name in, their domain name in let's say if their email address is hidden and a lot of times you can find out who the blog or the website is registered to their actual one who created who signed up um, and it'll give you like their actual email, sometimes even their phone number, their address. So even if it's not published on their website, um, you just copy the <coughs> copy the domain name, put it into whois.net, um, and just follow the prompts. And if it's public, if they didn't make the domain name private, it'll be able to tell you who the website uh, address owner is, their name and their email, and there you go. You have all their contact info, sometimes even a phone number. Uh, so you can just reach out to them and let them know what you're up to, and you would love to write this. Um, and that's a great way to uh, find out uh, who everything belongs to. So here's a uh, big one that I like to use a lot. Uh, it's LinkedIn. Um, if I could spell it. So <clears throat> a lot of ways um, you can use LinkedIn. You can use paid ads on LinkedIn, which are very easy to target people. Um, same principle, but you send the traffic back to a landing page. Um, back to landing page of your funnel now there's a couple good ways to use LinkedIn so another great way is uh, the option I like to use is called it's called the sales navigator uh, it's a paid version it's like 80 bucks a month but uh, it has a more advanced uh, search platform so you can search by people by their their title their industry the size of the company how many employees um, all sorts of really great stuff. Their their title and then like if they're an owner, the CEO, the president, the VP, uh, marketing person, COO. So it has a really great uh, advanced search platform you can use in the Sales Navigator, um, and then you can set up your search, and then you can search and find the list of people. So let's say I wanted to go after people um, that were I don't know uh, bank owners or CEOs in banks. I had a, a software or something that I wanted to reach out and introduce to bank owners or let's say attorneys. So sometimes people that are have gatekeepers that are really hard to get to them on LinkedIn, you can go direct to them. And with the Sales Navigator, I'll just write this down. Uh, sales Navigator is the one that I use, and I probably spelled that wrong. So just Sales Navigator. Um, you can search up to like 100 people a day have direct outreach to them. Uh, so what I normally do is I say, hey, <clears throat> just um, uh, I believe a network is only as good as, it, as its connections. Would love to have you as one. Uh, oh, by the way, I checked out your profile. I love it. I have a quick question about it. So you send an initial outreach to that person, something that where you're not trying to initially sell them. You're just trying to build up that connection with them. Um, and obviously you want to make sure your LinkedIn profile is uh, relevant to the industry you're outreaching or relevant together because uh, your LinkedIn profile is basically uh, a landing page in itself for you so when you reach out to someone they'll see like what your title is uh, of your page and things like that so make it sell, sell yourself in that title and how it can basically benefit people 
Um, for example, like I help chiropractors uh, bring in 30 new patients monthly, ask me how. So something interesting like that. Uh, so then when you reach out, you build that initial contact with them. Um, and I think I spelled landing page wrong again. Sorry about that. Um, so you build up that initial contact with them. <clears throat> and then they, uh, after that, following it, you start to maybe ask them questions, engage them a little more. Uh, and you post, um, let's say you have an, uh, an interesting video. So your link, um, what you send them goes back to either your video sales letter or to register for a webinar, or let's say you have uh, a quiz you want to set up and give to them. Um, <clears throat> what I like to use for my quizzes is something called Typeform. So Typeform is a really awesome uh, software you can set up like a, actually a, a quiz or a sur survey basically. Um, and basically uh, you can tell people, not tell people, but ask them uh, questions and you can get a, let's say you're trying to put content together for an audience, you can say what's what's the biggest con concern uh, you have in your business or what's the biggest marketing issue you have in your business or um, how many sales you're normally closing, What how many sales would you like to get to on a monthly basis. So if you understand your audience, you can set up a, a survey and you can actually do uh, have that survey answer a lot of the problems uh, or questions. You can find out a lot of great information. So there's a lot of ways you, you can use LinkedIn. Uh, it's a bit of a higher end clientele and demographic on there, which is uh, also a little uh, on the financial side. They have usually a lot more money. Uh, so it's a great way. And really besides uh, the $80 cost a month, if you do it yourself, the outreach doesn't cost you anything besides your time, which obviously is money. But um, if you're working on a low budget, you can reach the exact people you want on LinkedIn with really not much money. And if you do it creatively, you can send them back to a really great landing page um, and they can set up a time to speak with you about possibly becoming a client or more interest in your services. So LinkedIn is a great way. Um, another one here I want to definitely mention um, is we're going to do Twitter. So some people use it, some people don't. So there's a couple ways you can you can really use it to your advantage. Let's say you're building out your uh, your Twitter account and it's new. You don't really have too much content or a big following. So what you want to do is load it up with uh, really uh, good posts first. So then when you do start to build that outreach, when people go and look at your profile, they see, let's say, 10, 15, 20, 30 really awesome posts relevant to their industry. And it's all uh, a lot of value. So make sure you're always providing a lot of value uh, and some something that um, would be really interesting. And don't try to sell people right away. So uh, ways you can automate this and make it work for you a little better, you can set up an auto response in Twitter. So if you ask somebody a question or someone reaches you, uh, you can basically have an auto response going out to them and say, hey, love your profile. Um, thanks for connecting. Have a, have a quick question. Um, is, do you have a minute to chat? So you can set up an engaging auto response. So um, it automatically goes out to them. Um, you can also use paid ads on Twitter. Um, so that's fairly new. So you can actually reach a demographic and things like that. So uh, again, your Twitter and your profile all can go back to your landing page um, and your or your video sales letter, etc. However, you're trying to capture people. So Again, I wouldn't really go with the paid ads version too much, really, on Twitter or anything until you're you know your audience good and you you know your targeting good. Um, you can go like the free version, like LinkedIn, uh, the articles, um, things like that, and then you can get a response and then you can kind of learn a lot from that if you want, if you don't have too much of a marketing budget. So another great way I'm going to show you guys. Um, just trying to recap here. So uh, another one is definitely going to be Facebook for, for everybody who's not familiar. Uh, I mean, everybody's really familiar with Facebook, but uh, there's a couple ways within Facebook that you can kind of leverage a small budget. So um, here's a few of them right now. So obviously the paid ads is a big one. Everyone knows kind of how to do that. Um, but you have to be careful with that. If you haven't done it before, I would definitely try to connect with somebody that's kind of a specialist because you can waste a lot of money. Um, a great way is group marketing um, within Facebook. So um, you can leverage groups that are already created. Um, and within, let's say you're, you're joining a group um, 
let's say it's whatever the group is, it doesn't really matter the type of the group, it's, it's in your industry. What you want to really do within that group and how you can be, you can be uh, very successful uh, is you really want to become known as like a celebrity, a specialist, an expert within that group, a legend. Um, you want to create more value than everybody else within that group. Uh, so it's free to join the group and the mistake a lot of people use is they just they put a link to like their website or their landing page and saying hey uh, check out my landing page or here's what I can kind of do for you guys and it kind of just gets mixed into the blur of everybody else posting the same thing but if you can provide more value uh, post after post po post after post you give away a lot of value you become an expert within that group people start saying oh hey uh, John is an expert in this area. I see him posting all the time. I've learned uh, these five things from him already. People are going to start paying attention to when you post. People are going to start to realize you're a specialist um, and you're not just somebody else who's trying to spam the group and post their link in there. So if you can become an expert within the group, um, and some of these groups have hundreds of thousands of people or 20 or 30,000, um, you will be surprised. People will start messaging you. People will start... Uh, uh, asking your your opinion on things, asking your questions for a little more specialties, um, how you can help them out. So just by providing a lot of value, uh, more so than everybody else, becoming the absolute expert within that group, and you can duplicate this in other groups, uh, you can start to earn business uh, that doesn't cost you anything, uh, but just by sharing your expertise and your knowledge. So that's a really great way uh, that works that doesn't cost you anything. Um, I would stick with, I would avoid kind of like the uh, the cold outreach or um, trying to message people. Um, I wouldn't really do that too much. Um, that really is kind of annoying to people. So I would avoid like the cold outreach or messaging people that you see within the group. That's really hard to do. It's time consuming. Um, you could own your own group. So you could set up your own group. Um, and again, just become the expert. Um, and then you could have a great uh, database you could go back to continually. Um, let's see, events. You could definitely hold events. So events are a great way where you could have uh, invite people. Um, you could have uh, friends share the events or people that you know have big groups. You could reach out to them and say, I'm having this event. I think your group would benefit from it a lot. Uh, would you mind sharing my link in your group? So you can hold an event about a particular topic, particular uh, video you're doing or release or anything. So you can uh, an event is a great way that doesn't cost you anything to get your word out. Uh, and then you just hold an awesome online event about uh, whatever your service does and how you can help people. And you'd be surprised. A lot of people love to attend those, love to kind of stay private, see what's going on, see what they can learn. Um, and that's a great way to build up a database and a following. So events are a great way to do that. Uh, so the paid ads, uh, you can definitely do that. Uh, it's an awesome way to get people back. And, and guys, keep again, keep in mind, uh, a lot of this goes back to when you can, back to your 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 landing page, your sales funnel, um, where you're trying to get an appointment or sell your product or capture somebody's email so you can do it. So everything basically goes back to uh, basically you having some sort of contact with that person. So uh, the paid ads are great. Group marketing is excellent. Become the expert in that group. Create your own group if you want, if you would like. Uh, become the expert. Events are a really good one. And actually while we're talking about this, let's just go back up on LinkedIn fast. Uh, you can do the same thing with groups. Uh, in here. So uh, LinkedIn groups are really good. Um, there's a lot of very popular uh, groups in really any category in LinkedIn that have a lot of people in them. Uh, not a lot of people really market in them sometimes. You can actually create your own groups in there. Um, people like to join those. It's very informative. Um, so you can actually reach out to the owners in LinkedIn a lot of times if you have um, Let's say you're doing an event, you could actually not just post on Facebook, but you can actually post your Facebook event in LinkedIn groups. So try to leverage uh, different social platforms when you can uh, kind of cross promote everything. So, uh, but LinkedIn groups, a uh, great way to also market and create your own uh, in there as well. So I'm going to give you some other ones right here. <clears throat> Here's a great one that I love. So a lot of you guys are familiar with AdWords. Um, now there's two types of AdWords. So basically, there's the uh, the search platform where obviously your ads show up on the top left and down the side. Uh, it's called the search network. Um, 
what a lot of people don't utilize too much is what's called a display network. So it's a different type of network um, separate from the search network. So the search network network is basically shows up in the Google results. The display network, which is uh, a great way uh, to leverage other people who've already done a lot of the work for you, uh, this is how it works. So we're, let's get rid of the search network. You don't really want to use that. Uh, but for some categories and some niches, the display network works. So how this works is basically you can advertise, and you may already know this, but a lot of people don't know this. You can advertise, put your ad in, on very, very uh, popular, blo popular blogs, popular websites. Really, uh, you have hundreds of thousands or millions of options. So let's say you were, uh, pick any niche. Let's say you were, again, let's just go with health and fitness and the health and fitness, so you're a coach, uh, let's say a nutritional coach, and you wanted to get people interested in your upcoming webinar or back to your video sales letter. So what you can actually do, there's plenty of blogs out there within the display network that give you the option to put your ad on their blog. Or let's say if it's even a competitor, you can actually put ads on competitor sites. So how it works is you have choices of blogs you want to appear on. It tells you the search volume. Uh, it tells you the demographics of everybody coming to that blog. Um, you can pick by keywords, etc. So you could actually be on a blog that let's say has, I don't know, 200,000 visitors a month that are all highly targeted to uh, your health and fitness niche that you're trying to advertise to. So now at a very cost effective rate, you can leverage somebody that's already built up a huge following in your audience uh, that has all the traffic already there and you can actually place your ad on that website. They see the ad, they click on it, it goes back to your landing page where you you can again sell your service or your product or have them opt in for let's say an upcoming webinar or uh, a launch or go through your video sales letter so the display network is an awesome way to really leverage a lot of the work that people have already done for you that's out there um, and again there's literally hundreds and thousands of of these uh, people out there that allow ads on their blog or their website um, they make a good amount of money from doing it but I mean, where else can you get in front of that many people uh, that easily? I mean, you could literally set up uh, AdWords Display Network literally in probably 10, 15 minutes if you know if you know what you're doing really easy. Uh, even if you don't, you could kind of easily fumble your way through this and, and really make a, a great ad. Um, so I would definitely consider that. If you have any questions about uh, the Display Network, definitely let me know. I'll be happy to get back to you and tell you a little more. Um, but this is one that pe a lot of people don't think of too much. Um, but it works really well. So definitely consider that or just Google the display network, check it out. Um, not sure why I can't spell today for some reason. Um, so uh, again, easy way, super simple to set up. You can run this on a very small budget um, and it works great in a lot of categories and you just leverage all the work people have already done. Uh, your traffic's coming to the site, uh, their site, your ad shows up on it. Um, you can track all your conversions, you can track an analytics, you can do retargeting with it. Uh, so it's an awesome way to get in front of the exact audience that you want, the exact demographics you want, um, very, very quickly. Um, so here's another one I uh, would definitely recommend, um, which is YouTube. So with YouTube, obviously, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can make your own videos, uh, upload them, you can advertise. Uh, in YouTube which is done through AdWords also so obviously pretty straightforward uh, make your own videos and upload them uh, the only advice I would give there uh, know how to do some SEO on them to get them ranked quickly and properly otherwise you might get lost in the mix a lot of ways you can do this is go ahead and uh, into Google keywords alright so sorry I just had to pause it for a sec but like I was saying uh, good ways to go ahead and get your video ranked. You just don't want to randomly name it anything. So you can go to Google, uh, uh, Google AdWords, and in there there's a, what's called the keyword tool, where basically you can do a search uh, for what people are actually looking for, like um, how to get six-pack abs faster. Um, so go to Google, uh, use the keyword tool. Uh, you can find the actual phrases, uh, usually the, what's called the long uh, term uh, keywords are better 
those are easier to rank instead of something like um, get six pack abs, um, something like how to get six pack abs in 14 days, something like uh, maybe over seven uh, seven words. Uh, that's a lot easier to get your video to show up uh, in YouTube. It's a little more specific. Um, great ways to also, if you're trying to, let's say, rank a video on a local level for like, let's say, uh, your town name, let's say, like I live in, a, in an area, let's say, um, let's just pick any name, um, Butler, uh, New Jersey, um, bathroom contractor. So something like this on a local level could, could rank really well. So it's if you're a local contractor or your local service provider or local attorney or CPA or really anything, if you work on a local level, um, a lot of people don't know this, but YouTube videos uh, can rank very easily on the first page of Google. If you do some even some minor SEO work and how you do this, you want to make sure you have your title optimized. Um, you want to make sure you have the content and the description optimized. Um, you, very easily what you can do, um, and there's services out there, um, you want to embed um, your video on as many other social platforms or blogs as possible. Uh, so as you embed your video on other platforms, basically that moves you up in the rankings in YouTube. So on a local level, you can actually rank videos uh, as you upload them and you embed them. Your YouTube video can actually show up on the first page of Google. So it's a great way to beat out some competitors quickly. Uh, and this can happen as little as a couple hours, a day or two. Um, and there's uh, different ways where you can push your video up to keep it on the first page. Uh, so YouTube is a great way. So again, you can make your own. You can upload it. You can advertise on YouTube very, very cost effectively, like only a couple cents, pennies, one, two, three cents. Um, you can have your videos show up on competitors' uh, videos before they play, which is a great way to do it. Um, if you want to uh, remember long tail keywords, is that, that's what works better. Um, optimize your titles, your content. You can embed your videos on other pages like Tumblr. Um, all the social platforms out there, try to get like six or seven, eight of them. Um, you can actually go to uh, Fiverr or a lot of other places. Uh, they offer video embeds. Um, and again, you don't have to worry about any black hat or anything with SEO because uh, you can't get penalized for embedding or doing anything really uh, to a YouTube video or SEO, even if it's on your site. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so YouTube has a, a lot of great ways um, to really do it at a very cost effective rate. If you do run paid ads on, on um, YouTube, again, it's done through AdWords. Uh, it's very, very cost effective. Uh, you can have a very small budget and reach a lot of people. Um, and if your video is good enough, hopefully it goes viral. Uh, and obviously those are all free views. Um, so here's a couple more tips for YouTube. Um, obviously you want to keep um, links in your description, uh, but there's a lot of different ways you can leverage YouTube even further. If you ever watch the videos and they have um, the little buttons in the upper right hand corner and annotations throughout the video with outbound links to their website, um, you want to set up what's called your associated website. Uh, so basically it's an approved outbound link uh, you can get um, uh, in, in YouTube. Like I think if you go under uh, Creator Studio, um, you can just get, you can sign up for an associated link and then you have to get it um, basically approved and how you do it is they give you a little piece of code um, that you paste into the head section of your website uh, which is like if you have a WordPress site is really easy to do and then you just confirm that um, and then you can actually embed your links right in your video uh, and as you're talking in the video you could say hey just go in the right hand corner of the video click on my little icon there uh, it'll take you back to my landing page where I give you the uh, the 10 best tips about how to get six pack abs for free uh, really quickly or you send them back to your video sales letter or the registration for your webinar where they can learn more. So uh, a lot of people just have the link in the description but if you just take a little extra time and a little extra work you set up your annotations and your associated uh, website and you can have the outbound links that actually pop up as ads in your video. Um, that's a great way to really capture uh, more of that traffic um, 
it can and you can talk about it while you're in the video say hey as you're and you can time it out so let's say a minute 30 in you post a little pop-up and you're like hey uh, as I'm talking right now see the see the little ad that just popped up click on that I'm giving away a free course right now go ahead and grab it uh, they click on that it takes them back to your landing page so YouTube's a great way if you know how to leverage it um, so again just to recap the webinars your video sales letters your podcasts the articles the guest blogs you want to become an expert remember become the absolute best uh, not just good but the absolute best expert um, I'm sorry in in the groups but the articles also become an expert uh, when you're writing make it really long make it uh, informative and people will actually go back to your site or request more information from you LinkedIn is awesome it doesn't really cost you too much um, same principles apply here again Twitter what we said um, so guys don't think you have to do all these um, these are just some great options that you can leverage for what works best for your business so you can make a lot of money just by uh, getting the hang of let's say just LinkedIn or just Facebook or uh, just using webinars or really whatever it is it's just a matter of knowing maybe which platform you might be the most comfortable with but I just wanted to give you some great options um, that you could implement that you may not be aware of um, and you could actually use maybe a couple of these couple of the free versions obviously articles are free LinkedIn is pretty much free uh, a lot of the Facebook ad uh, the group marketing is free uh, for the most part YouTube is free um, the webinars of the VSLs uh, I like webinar jam um, uh, for my platform that I use uh, so webinar jam is an awesome uh, software uh, for the VSLs the video sales letters um, you can really use anything you want um, usually it's just a landing page um, I like click funnels uh, and you can just record a screen share like I'm doing right now uh, for that I like screencast um, and what you do is screencast is free actually for the most part uh, so what you do is record something uh, like I'm doing right now uh, you can sign up for click funnels it's really not that expensive uh, if you want the link I'll send it to you um, you record a video you upload it to YouTube uh, you copy the embed code uh, and you paste it onto uh, your video sales page um, and then you just put a little uh, outbound link with like a little hyperlink and a picture say hey if you love this uh, this quick video I made for you uh, and you, you learned a lot from it let's jump on a quick call uh, go ahead and click on the calendar below schedule a time to speak with me um, and that goes right to your online calendar for that I like to use Calendly uh, they pick a time that works for them and your schedule uh, and you're all booked and you both get reminders uh, so you could actually make a lot of money with something uh, a system that really doesn't cost too much um, Webinar Jam is an awesome tool again the landing page is ClickFunnels to record your um, a video like this I'm doing right now it's just a simple screencast um, that is pretty much free Calendly doesn't cost much for your online uh, online scheduling and there's a couple other options but I like Calendly I've used it for a while um, so I hope that helps and if you found us informative uh, love to hear back from you or any other specific questions about any uh, one of these eight uh, these eight areas here if you have any little more uh, details you would like on uh, any one of them be happy to go over that with you uh, feel free to reach out with me uh, reach out to me um, I'll go ahead uh, below this video um, I'll either throw in my calendar link or my email to get in touch with me um, but you can always find me on LinkedIn as well so if uh, I that's it for now. Uh, if there's no other questions, I don't think I think I covered a lot here for you guys. I'll be putting out a couple more videos, uh, breaking things down a little more specific, some ways to get more clients, uh, how to sell a little higher price points, um, like let's say between three and ten thousand dollar packages based on your knowledge and what you know. Um, so make sure to uh, stay in touch. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this quick video. Take care, guys.